So Surah Ali Imran, ayah number 194. Rabbana. So Rabbana, we know that this is Ya Rabbana. I said so many times, so it should be all drilled in your head now. So Ya Rabbana. So Ya is our Harfu Nida. Rabba is our Munada. And uh, why this uh, Munada is uh, Mansub? Because when we have Idafa fragment, it is supposed to be Mansub. So Ya Rabbana, O our Rabb. Wa Atina. So Ata basically is our word. Okay, let's do word to word first. Okay, so Rabbana, uh, uh, O our Rabb. Atina, you give us. Ma, what? Wa Atana, you have promised. Allah upon. Rusulika, your messengers, Wala and not Tukzina, you make us humiliated or embarrassed. Yomul Kiyamati, on the day of judgment, Innaka, indeed you, La Tukhlifu, do not do or um, like different or uh, like break Al Miyad, your promise or your. Uh, whatever you uh, kind of, uh, um, yeah, we can say promise. So indeed, you do not do against your promise. So now, uh, the interesting word is over here, Ata. This is family one. And inshallah, uh, we will, uh, when we will go uh, do family one, we will do in detail, just giving you kind of a gist of it. So Ata, this is uh, considered a weak verb because it has weak letter at the end. So ata and is mudaria will be yati, and then uh, its anta will be tati. And now when we are making amar, we are going to drop this ta. We are going to have a, a scone on the last letter, and since this is weak letter. So what happened when we have weak letter and we have to make the madzum, then we drop it all together. Okay, so now we have left with this uh, uh, Hamza with has kun, and then we have just this T. Okay, so now it became Ati. So this is how, you, and then we, just added noon with with it so atina so uh, rabbana wa atina so that is the uh, this is how it became atina ma this ma is ma mosula whatever wa atana wa atana is from wada and again wada is wow uh, ain and dal and when we go to hunna it will be wa adana. Why? Because the hunna always wants spoon on the last letter. So this is it become wa adana. Now when we uh, now we are going on ta uh, tumatum, uh, so it will become wa adta. And for just the, for the fluency, because when we say wa adta, so then we kind of we need to do kalkala over here. Right, so so just to make it easy, it became wa atta. So we are just joining this ain with the wa atta. So this is how it became wa atta. Ma wa atta na ala rusulika. So ala, we know this is our harfujar. Rusuli is a samajrur, and then rusuli is light, and the ka is attached to it. So this is our idafa fragment, right? So we have jar majroor plus idafa fragment. Bala tukhuzina. Tukhuzina. So again, and uh, for rusulun, you see that, okay, rasul is the singular. The plural is rusulun. And then ala rusuli. So ala, our jar, uh, harfujar. And rusuli is our isam majroor. Right, and then Rusuli is light, Ka is a attached pronoun, so this is making it Idafa fragment. And then Akhza, uh, this Tukhuzina basically, it is Akhza, family fun, is uh, family sorry, four, it's like uh, Aslama. 
So Akhuza, Yukhuzi, and then we go to Anta, it will be Tukhuzi, right? And uh, now I put La Nahia, so La Tukhuzi. What we need to do in when we are attaching La uh, Nahia, we need to make it Madzum. So since again, this is weak root letter, we're gonna drop it all the way. And now we remain with the tukhuzi. And then a na is attached. La tukhuzina, yawm al kiyamati, on the day of judgment, our uh, special uh, mudaf uh, and idafa fragment. Then innaka, our muptada, starting a new sentence. Innaka, indeed you, La tukhlifu. So what is uh, tukhlifu? <coughs> it's like yuslimu. So akhlafa yukhlifu. So aslama yuslimu. So again, this is our family four. And uh, this is the file is anta. So la tukhlifu miyad. You do not do against your promise. So what promises are given to Rasuls? Jannah, right? And uh, even uh, uh, there is one ayah which is uh, told to Bani Israel that if you have believed and you remain steadfast, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have provided you risk from underneath you. So meaning like it gonna, uh, the risk gonna shower on you from the places you cannot even imagine. So this is the wada that when we are iman, when we have iman, so then inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala special mercy is going to be upon us. So these are the wadas were given. And then inna kala tukliful miyad is like, uh, they are really kind of looking forward. They are really working hard towards it. So they are uh, uh, kind of saying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we know that you will never do against your promise <clears throat> okay then next ayah start first the job so now fa came over here this is the fa is uh, fa is the nafia um, and uh, in the translation we are seeing the word so over here so and uh, in the um, uh, like uh, previous ayat, we see that uh, how much they were begging to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Over and over, they were saying, Rabbana, 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 with a lot of love uh, and with a lot of hope, they were calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now, the response of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came. So now, <clears throat> let's do word to word first. So first Ajaba. So he responded, referring to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, Lahum for them, Rabbuhum. So Rabbuhum is basically the uh, file for first Ajaba because first Ajaba is hiya. Oh sorry, huwa. So Rabbuhum is the outside doer for first Ajaba. So first Ajaba, Lahum Rabbuhum. So their Rabb responded to them, Anni, indeed I, not indeed, rather that I. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kind of uh, um, telling them that uh, I, la udiyu, I never waste amala. Amala is like uh, uh, action, amelin of the doer, minkum among you, min rakarin from male au unsa or female badukum some of you mimbad are from others like you are progeny of each other fallazina so those those who hajaru they did hijra they abandoned something for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so remember this hijra is not just only leaving some place, but this hijra could be uh, even leaving the bad deeds for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also a hijra. Or any place of fitna, uh, you know, that uh, 
or any company that you think that is going to like uh, put you away from your uh, iman or your deen and you're leaving that company or you are leaving that place just for the sake of uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala then this is also a hijra so wahajaru wa ukhriju and they were expelled so this is passive wa ukhriju min diyarihim from their houses wa uzu and they were tortured fi sabili in my path wa qatalu and they fought wa qutilu and they were killed la ukaffiran so now this is nunu sakila over here and then lam in the beginning and then ana is used so three emphases are here on this aya la ukaffiran so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that no doubt i will remove wash them bury them bury anhum from them sayyatihim their evil deeds so this is the promise of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is going to put all their evil deeds far far away from them bury them then even nobody would be able to see their evil deeds wala udkhilannahum and he will again three emphases first one is lam second one is ana and then third one is nunu sakila wala wali wala udkhilannahum and i will for sure i will i will enter them in jannatin in gardens tajri flow min from tahtiha underneath it anharu so anhar the rivers would be flowing underneath them the gardens and uh, underneath this garden would be all these rivers flowing thawaban and this is thawab this is uh, like a reward min indillahi especially from allah wallahu and allah in the who near him whatever he has in the who uh, he has husnu sawab the best of reward no one can reward like allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give no one because we do not have uh, resources we uh, our resources are very limited and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's powers are unlimited so he is the one who can reward uh, the best way so now that was our word to word now let's see our uh, some grammatical analysis so fa fastajaba so i said this fa is kind of uh, as a result because they were begging right so fastajaba so finally the response of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, here and, uh, and uh, this is uh, ista family so ista family is our family 10 inshallah we are going to learn next class so uh, and you will see this family a lot and this family implication is like we are begging for something or we are requesting to something or we are really seeking something so that is the implication uh, in family 10 so first the jaba lahum lahum is our jar majroor over here so lahum this home is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referring to ulil albab so he he respond to his ulil albab and rabbuhum is our outside door for first the jaba and what is he, in his response he is saying he is saying anni that i so this is anna plus ya okay it could be annani two way it could be written remember an uh, anna ni or anni so this is anni anni indeed i la udi'u udi'u so this is ada'a you d o so this is our uh, um da ada you d o so this is uh, why it looks uh, a little different because it has kind of a weak letter in the in the middle 
okay but this is a aslama family uh, so la udiu and this is o is our nahnu over here la udiu i never waste so uh, we uh, know this word from zaya karna right so right we say that in uh, urdu so this is basically uh, over here la udi o i do not waste amala amal now amal and fail what's the difference i didn't uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't say faala failin the fail of uh, some uh, uh, the doer rather he said the amala amilin because amala amal is something that we do consciously fail is like breathing we do not think that okay i have to breathe now it is happening automatically right but amal is something that we do with intention and we do for a purpose and we do consciously so this is the amal and now amala this is light amilin is our uh, this is our idafa fragment and then amilin so amilin i told you guys many times that when we have uh, to tanmeen then we need to look uh, next uh, letter and uh, next to whatever is it could be uh, sentence it could be fragment and that it can be the sifa of that uh, word so amilin so let's check if it is making sense so amilin amilin minkum and these amil are who minkum they are among you they are not like some aliens but they are from you okay so this is the amilin is the sifa of uh, um, uh, rather minkum is the sifa of amilin okay so uh, and then min zakarin and who are they min zakarin they can be from the male aw unsa or they can be from the females so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is especially uh, describing unsa over here even though amilin has male and female both in it but unsa is mentioned especially over here um, because uh, uh, in the tafsirs it says that uh, women used to like to feel deprived that uh, they are not mentioned when it comes to hijra because they did hijra with their families too but they are not mentioned so now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is specially uh, mentioning unsa over here and then min zakarin so is basically it is the it also can be the badal badal of what badal of amilin so when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say amala amilin minkum it was quite good enough right we don't have to say min zakarin and aw unsa so this is kind of um, badal of amilin and this is like more emphasis and like describing more about amilin right so min zakarin aw unsa then ba'dukum min ba'd so ba'dukum min ba'd and some of you are from someone so iraq books are saying that uh, basically this is like jumla uh, itradiya what is jumla itradiya like it is the interjection something is said in the in between um, like for some extra information for example if i say i'm going to pick on my Uh, my young uh, students so if i say anusha she is very diligent or i say anusha a very diligent girl she always help me so basically i want to say anusha she always help me but i just added something more saying that she is very diligent girl or she, she is very kind hearted something like that okay we do that always uh, when we are speaking in uh, our languages uh, and uh, in arabic that uh, also exists and that is called jumla itradiya like when we are kind of interjecting something uh, between our conversation so baadukum min baad uh, we know that this is our idafa fragment 
and then Mimbad is our MBK over here. So this whole Badukum Mimbad is considered as Jumla Etradiya. Then we have Falladina and, and uh, those. So now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kind of uh, uh, describing his Amil. Who are these Amils? So Falladina Hajaru and th they are the ones who Hajaru who did Hijra. So now Hajaru, you guys can see extra alif, right? So this extra alif is uh, a marker of family three. So Hajaru, so they did Hijra and uh, they did Hijra kind of with their families, right? So this is mutual action is happening over here. So wa Hajaru, wa Ukhriju and they were expelled. So this is our Majhul and our knife file is home over here. So they were expelled by their own people of Makkah, right? So they were expelled from their houses. Min diyarihim is our jar majroor plus idafa fragment. Wa uzu. So wa uzu is again uh, from aza and aza uzi. This is again our aslama family. And then uza. Again, this is weak verb, so this is uh, gonna be a little different. So, Uza and then Uza Ya, this is our uh, Huma, and then Uzu, this is our Hum, and this is uh, Majhul. So, Wa Uzu, and they were uh, kind of uh, tortured. Fi Sabili in their path, sorry, in my path, Sabili. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, in my path, they were. And they faced all these difficulties. So they uh, kind of uh, did hijra together with their families. They were expelled from their houses and they were tortured. And we all remember Hazrat Bilal Razi Anhu and Hazrat Sumaya and Hazrat Ammar, all these families, right? They were tortured so badly. So again, so they fought. So again, mutual action is happening. They fought and they were killed. So while they were fighting in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they got shahada, they were killed. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving a good news for them. La for sure, I will, I will, I will on whom from them say atihim. There. Um, their evil deeds and we know this uh, say is basically sa -a, sa a is like evil and from we know that word su su is singular and say from there uh, say ye a say is uh, uh, is the uh, evil deed say Sayyatin. And then Sayyatin. It's like Muslimatin. Okay. So this is how Sayyatun or Sayyatin. So Sayyatihim, plural, they're all kind of uh, plural is saying that, okay, many, many, like most of their evil deeds or all we can say, all of their uh, evil deeds would be washed off, buried off. And I will for sure, definitely, no doubt about it, I will enter them. Jannatin tajri min tahtihal anharu. So now anharu. So basically, this is the file of tajri. So Underneath, anhar would be flowing, min tahtiha, and this high is referring to jannat. And uh, that is the reward, that is the sawab. And this is our sawaban, is our makul mutlik over here. Min indillahi, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And wallahu, and Allah is indahu. He has husnu sawab, the best of the reward. 
So subhanallah, this is amazing. May Allah make us strive in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we qualify for all these blessing and gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, uh, one example for Rajumla uh, Itradiya. You can see in Surat Bakra, Alif La Mim, Dhalik Al Kitabu, La Rayba Fihi, Hudalil Mutakin. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that book or that is the book, La Rayba Fihi, there is no, this is La Nafiatul uh, Jins, right? So there absolutely no doubt about it uh, that that is a book Hudalil Muttaqeen and that is the guidance for Muttaqeen. So if it is said Zalikal Kitabu Hudalil Muttaqeen that is the book guidance for the Muttaqeen. That is uh, like uh, uh, that is basically a message over here that this book has guidance for Muttaqeen. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala added la rayba fihi, there is no doubt about it. So that is jumla itradiya. That is interjection. Okay, so I hope it is making sense. Now, move on. Move on. Our uh, ayah number 196. So, la ya So, La, uh, again, this is our La, so this is our uh, La Nafia over here, okay, not Nahia, but Nafia, La Ya Ran Naka, so uh, again, this is the Varra, Ya Guru, and then uh, no no sakila we need to attach. And if you guys remember the lesson on no no sakila, what was that? That uh, when we have uh, these five in your pocket, which is our uh, hua, hia, anta, ana, and nahnu, then before no no sakila, we have uh, fatha, and other way, otherwise. Uh, when we have plural, then we have uh, Dhamma, and then our uh, dual one has uh, uh, something different, right? So this is uh, like Warra Ya Guru. So this is our uh, Hua. And now, uh, before Nunu Skila we add, we need to change this uh, Harika. So that is going to change into Fatha. So th this is how it, it becomes Ya Naka. And this guy is our Mufulun Bihi. And this is very emphatic. So, la ya gurran naka taqallubu lazina kafaru fil bilad. So, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at that time when this uh, ayah revealed, but when today we are reading it. So, this is a kind of uh, 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 kalam, kalam to us now. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking each one of us that you should not be uh, like deluded or you should not be in deception. Why? Taqallubu. Taqallubu is like, uh, like activities uh, or like freely movement. Allah zina of those kafaru who disbelieved. Fil biladi in the city. So those who have free movement in the cities, like in the land, like people who are having a lot of enjoyment, having fun, they do not have any restriction. Okay, so their life is like uh, very luxurious and uh, very fancy life they are living. So when we see them, we think that, okay, something wrong with us, something wrong with our religion. Right, so that put us uh, into uh, like doing some compromise. So maybe we are too rigid. Let's do uh, something that can make us fit in with these people so we can have a little bit of life too. Right, so this is kind of implication over here. So, <clears throat> but uh, uh, 
uh, next uh, uh, ayah is kind of giving the answer of it. So over uh, here, Subhana, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is telling us that you dare not. So never ever you get deluded or you get into deception of uh, because these kufar because they have very free movement in the cities. So now uh, uh, this is la um, nafia. Not uh, nafia. I'm always going la nahia. Okay, this is nahi. So this is la nahia, and yagur runnaka. This is our felun mudaria madzum, and file is our hua. Okay, and this is family one, agarra yagurru, and inshallah. This is a little different family, and uh, when we go there, we will learn about it. And then this ka is our mafulun bihi, and then taqallubu is our, I see this ta in the beginning, and I see shadda, so three plus two make five. And then taqallu, so this u sound is telling me that this is master or family five. And that means this word is from Qalb. Qalb is like, uh, you know, that a uh, lot of activities, lot of uh, uh, activities in a sense that uh, our blood keeps circulating, uh, uh, our, sorry, heart keeps circulating blood uh, to the body, right? So pumping. And then a lot of emotions are in the heart. So this is Taqallub. Uh, and... Uh, Taqallubu al-lazina and kafaru fil bila. So taqallubu, again, this is rafa, so which is uh, suggesting that this is the file of yaqurra. So taqallubu is the outside doer for yaqurru because yaqurru is huwa. And then um, al-lazina kafaru, so uh, now our taqallubu uh, al-lazina. So again, now taqallubu is uh, light. If it is light, we need to know why it is light. So something is light for four reasons. Um, it could be our mudaf, idafa fragment, right? So ida, um, our mudaf need to be light. Or when we call someone, then it uh, munada should be light. Or uh, our uh, like uh, our partly flexible, they are supposed to be light, and. Uh, our la nafia to lil jins, but there is no la over here, right? So these are the four reasons something, some is some could be light. So over here uh, is I'm gonna take it as a idafa taqallubul zina because the translation even helping the free movement of those. So the word of came in between. So this is our idafa fragment, and uh, then al zina is our uh, isam usul and kafaru is our sila. And fil biladi uh, in the city, and then fil biladi we were always used to say fil biladi since this is our jumla uh, failia, uh, so we can say mbf, but not in this case because uh, this fil biladi is not uh, uh, talking about yahur rannaka, rather, this fil biladi is talking about takalubu. So the activities in the city should not delude you, right. So that's why you're going to call it that this is Mutalik Bil Master. So this is basically Fil Bilad is related to Takalubu. So Mutalik Bil Master. So this is something new. Okay, so I hope it is clear now. Now next ayah is our 100, 197. And it says Mata'un Qalilun. So mataun qalilun summa ma'wahum jahannam wa bi salmiha. So mata mean like uh, very uh, um, like little or something insignificant entertainment or uh, like use of something. So mata is uh, like entertainment or uh, uh, enjoyment. Qalilun a little summa then ma'wahum their abode, their resting place, Jahannamu is Jahannam, Wabi Sa, and how evil 
Al-Mihada is the resting place. So Mata Unfalilun, as I said, Mata is something very insignificant. Like, uh, uh, you know, we use fork, knife or spoons, right? So they are our need and we use them, but we do not really enjoy them. So Mata is something that we just use and they are very insignificant, but it's not like kind of big enjoyment or something. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying that, uh, mat, uh, and one more thing about mataun kalilun, mataun kalilun. So this is our mosuf sifa, right? Now mosuf sifa, uh, and uh, now uh, we have something rafa over here, but they are common. So our muptada, muptada need to be always proper. Always proper and it is always rafa. But our khabar is something which is common and it is rafa, right? So this is the difference. So now you tell me mataun kalilun is which one is more qualifying for that? Muptada as a muptada or as a khabar? They are common, right? So they are kind of qualify more for khabar. So basically mataun kalilun is khabar and I do not see anything else which can make it our muptada. So basically muptada is missing over here, missing, when I say missing, that means it is mahzuf, it is hidden from our eyes. So scholar says that uh, huwa, either huwa as a khabar, uh, sorry, as a muqtada is missing or ishuhum, their life, that is hidden over here. So they, they are basically our muqtada. So huwa mataun kalilun, they, uh, it is very little enjoyment or their life is very little enjoyment. So basically this is the implication over here. Then it says summa, our ataf, ma'wahum. So ma'wa is from awa, awa, and then from there is ma'wa. So this is basically zarf over here, ma'wahum, zarf makam. So their abode is what? And this is our idafa fragment. And jahannamum is our um, so basically it could be our muptada ma'wahum their uh, abode is what jahannam khabar so this is a um, uh, ataf but uh, it is another sentence right wa bi salmiha then again this is another sentence wa we know this is of ataf and then we have bi sa and Bisa and Nima, I mentioned before that too, they are called Feluzam Wamad. So um, meaning like when we see Bisa mean how evil it is. So that is why we are saying Feluzam. We are condemning something. And then we have Nima, how excellent is something. So this is Nima. So Wabi Salmihad and how evil is the Mihad is the uh, resting place for them. And now, uh, Mihad is also a very interesting word. It is like a cradle of a mother, like, you know, the mother hug you, right? So it hug you very tight. So basically, this is their cradle, their Mihad, their hug would be Jahannam. May Allah save us from Jahannam. So this is their end. So their uh, Jahannam is going to kind of hug them. So I, I hope it is making sense. Now let's uh, move next ayah. Walakin uh, sorry, Lakin So, but so Lakin over here. Uh, we can see the meaning uh, 
uh, but and you guys should remember you know that we have inna anna ka anna laita lakinna lalla do not make this lakin confused with lakinna lakinna is something different okay it has shadda and this is lakin and lakinna makes some grammatical effects right it makes its ism mansub this lakin does not do anything so no grammatical effect and that is called harfu istadrak okay so meaning like uh, something uh, something said before and it is kind of uh, tell that okay no th this is not the case okay so no grammatical effect so lakinna so over here is saying but allazina those ittaqu those who uh, have taqwa of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rabbahum of their rabb okay so this is our herf is the drag so this is our herf now allazina taqu basically allazina is our mubtada here and then we, this is our uh, ism usul and uh, obviously it is related to sila so ittaqu rabbahum the whole thing is connected so this the whole thing is our mubtada here so allazina taqu rabbahum so those who adopt the taqwa of their rabb lahum for them jannatun uh, gardens tajri flow min tahtiha underneath it al anharu the rivers khalidina they will remain fiha in it forever nuzulan so this is the nuzul this is the appetizer this is the hospitality min indillahi near allah wama and what in the lahi allah has khairun is the best li abrar for the righteous one so again uh, uh, in the other uh, ayat say husnu sawab right so same thing whatever allah subhanahu wa taala has is the best for um, abrar for the uh, righteous ones so now what grammatical uh, implication we can see so uh, i said that allazina taqo is our mubtada here lahum jannatun tajri min tahtiha lanhar so this uh, sentence is our khabar over here lahum we know this is our jar majrur and then jannatun so you see here jannatun right so same thing like uh, happened before uh, this is our mosuf uh, uh, and uh, uh, so this is it has the mean right so after the mean when we have even though this is jumla um you know, jumla failia so we can have jumla failia or jumla ismia or we can have any fragment we need, uh, that could be the uh, like uh, sifa of uh, that uh, word over here and there are always exception right so we need to keep that in our mind too so now tajri min tahti hal anharu is basically the sifa of jannat and tajri um, uh, is our failun mudariyun failu who is here and min tahtiha underneath it so underneath it, what underneath jannat so this uh, ha is referring to jannat and then al anharu is the file for tajri okay this is broken plural um and uh, this is the file of tajri and then it says khalidina fiha so this sentence over here basically uh, gram grammarian says that this is the hal for uh, these uh, allazina taqo so they are going to remain in it eternally then nuzulun is very interesting word over here uh, the root letter is nun zai and lam <clears throat> and we know that word anzala nazala right so same word and nuzulun nuzulun is basically uh, it says that uh, back then arabs were very hospital uh, like they were very uh, mehman nawaz people right 
So when they see someone coming from far away, you know, when like horses or cam camel are coming, so a lot of dust they produce, right? So they used to see, okay, some traveler is coming. So they start preparing and uh, uh, try to make some uh, uh, like food for them and try to make uh, them comfortable, like making uh, uh, some bed for them or all that, taking all these kind of care for them. So when this person come, they go to that person, make it uh, like uh, uh, get down from that camel or whatever, right, it, uh, he has. And then they try to make him wash their face and uh, like they try to comfort that person whatever way they can. So that is Nuzul and that is appetizer. And in today's example, we can uh, learn, we can kind of um, remember that when we have guests coming to our place. So our best meal is kind of when we, the first meal, right? So we try to use our best cutlery. We try to make the best food. Um, and uh, we try to make their room where they have to sleep the best all clean, right? So this is Nuzul. And the scholar says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described Jannah in quran e Park, right? So uh, Surat Rahman is beautiful description of Jannah, Surat Waqiya, Surat Al-Insan, Surat Yasin, right? These are all beautiful and here and there in Quran Epoch, you see a um, lot of description of uh, Jannah. And uh, scholar says that this is all kind of appetizer. Allah Ta'ala did not describe everything. This is just the beginning, just give you a taste of it. So it's like just appetizer, subhanAllah. So this is Nuzul. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is saying Nuzul min indillah. So all these things are just as a, um, as a appetizer. And what actually for dinner and for uh, um, breakfast and for next day and for the whole eternal life he has, it is amazing. It is a lot more for the abrar. Subhanallah. And abrar, we know that uh, this word is from bar. Bar is like uh, earth or land, and we can see so much variety on land, right? So Abrar are the people who like uh, have so much variety of good deed in their uh, record. Like they try to rush for every kind of uh, good deed they can. So they do not limit themselves. Okay, yes, I can do uh, Salah, I can do fasting, but... Uh, going uh, like uh, out of the way, like whatever is comfortable we are in, we, yes, we do. But when we see, okay, they, that is going to be hard, we just leave it. But Abrar are not these kind of people. Subhanallah. So this is amazing. Now, let's, next ayah. Wa inna and indeed, min ahli kitabi from the people of the book. So inna came over here. What we need? We need ismu inna, right? Min ahli kitabi is a kind of jar majroor and idafa fragment. So that cannot be the ism of inna. Okay, let's do word to word first, sorry. Wa and inna indeed min ahli kitabi from the people of the book, laman, for sure, you minu billahi, uh, for laman, for sure, the one who you minu, he believes billahi in Allah. Wama and what unzila is sent down. So this is our majhul. Ilaykum upon you all, like uh, talking to believers. So Quran. Wama unzila and whatever sent down ilayhim upon them. So that is the referring to Torah and Injil. Khashi'ina lillahi, and they are very humble and humiliated, and they have khushu in it. So they are not arrogant at all. Well, la yushtaruna bi ayatillahi, and they do not sell or compromise bi ayatillahi 
in the ayat of Allah, thaman and kalilan with the pretty price. So they do not trade, they do not barter, they do not sell the ayat of Allah with the little money. So they do not make any uh, like uh, transaction on these ayat, like uh, you know that uh, some Jew, uh, some uh, Jews they used to do it, right? Some rabbi they just uh, take some money and they made change in the books uh, to fit uh, with their uh, requirement. So they do not do this kind of temp uh, tempering in their book. So what is for them? Ulaika. So they are, or those are, lahum for them, ajruhum, their ajr, in the rabbihim, near their rab, with their rab, in Allah, indeed Allah, sari ul hisab, Allah Ta'ala is swift in account taking. So now, um, a grammatical analysis. So inna, uh, as I said, this is our harfu nasab, and we need its uh, victim, its ism. Min ahlil kitabi cannot be because this is our jar majroor and idafa fragment. So this is basically our MBK over here. And then la man. So la man is uh, qualifying for ismu inna because this la is for emphasis. This is not uh, uh, um, harfu jar over here. So man over here is our uh, ism usul, like allazi. So this is our uh, ismu inna over here. So whoever, uh, indeed whoever, you minu billahi, and this is our silatul mosul for man. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that uh, in the ahli kitab, from ahli kitab, whoever you minu billahi, whoever believe in Allah, Vama unzila ilaykum. Okay, so now again our ma mosula over here. Unzila ilaykum is our silatul mosul. Vama unzila ilayhim. Again, our ma is ma mosula. Unzila ilayhim silatul mosul. And this vow is motufunala. And then khashi'in alillahi. So khashi'in alillahi meaning they um, basically this is the hal hal for who hal for ahli kitabi min ahli kitabi for this fragment for our mbk okay so in what condition they are they are always very humble so they are not arrogant la yashtaruna bi ayatillahi so now ishtara for this word ishtara basically this is Shara Yashri. And then you see that uh, Sheen Ra and uh, Ya is the root letter. So what is extra? This Ta over here. So that should uh, ring a bell that this is our Ishtara Yashtari family eight. So Biayatillahi then is our MBF over here. Saman and Kalinan is our Sifa Mosuf. Okay, and then Ulaika lahum ajruhum in the rabbihim is another sentence. So ulaika is our mubtada, lahum is our MPK, ajruhum is uh, our khabar, and uh, in the rabbihim. Now interesting thing, in the rabbihim uh, is uh, saying that this is the hal. <clears throat> and uh, in this sentence, basically it is saying ajruhum maujudan in the Rabbihim. Their reward is mawjood, is present in the Rabbihim with their Rabb. So this is basically Hal. So that's why this is, uh, we are calling it MBH. So Mutalik Bil Hal, this in the Rabbihim is Mutalik Bil Hal. Subhanallah. In Allah, <coughs> then indeed Allah, so again this is our Muptada. Sari ul hisab is our idafa fragment uh, that Allah Ta'ala is very swift in account taking. So now uh, someone can ask uh, that, okay, um, how come the people are in the grave for many, many years already and their hisab is not taken? So, and even we know that day of judgment is almost 50,000 years. 
So that is very long. So how we are saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Sariul Hisab. So that uh, over here implies that once Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will start taking, that will be very swift. It would be like just starting started in the morning and by the noon it was all done. So this Sariul Hisab is referring to uh, when the account taking will start. And that is also telling us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to spare anyone. Good reward would be given for uh, immediately and the uh, evil uh, like punishment would be given very swift. So inshallah, we are on the last ayah now. Yeah, okay. And basically this is uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to Ahle Kitab telling that all ahl kitab were not evil. All ahl kitab were not like they were making changes, they were hiding the truth, but some of them were very righteous. We know that Abdullah bin Salam, he was Jew and uh, he accepted Islam, right? So many, uh, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is appreciating um, ahl kitab that uh, not all of them were uh, kind of evil but some of them were very righteous and uh, their reward is kind, kind of going to be same like uh, Ulil Al-Bab. Okay, then inshallah, na- uh, last ayah, and this is very beautiful ayah, many lessons over here. So, Ya Yuhallazina Amanu, so we know this Ya, how we break down. Ya is our Harfunida, Ayu is our Munada, and then this high is harfu tambi, is called harfu tambi mean particle of attention. So it's just like uh, OU we translate, right? And uh, after that, when you see Allah so most of the time you're gonna see that, okay, this uh, Allah is basically the badal of this ayu. So if it has said ya ayu amanu or ya ayu ha amanu, so that was complete uh, making sense, right? But Allah Zina is kind of a badal or substitute for Ayyu. So, Ya Ayyu Allah Zina Amanu. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to believers now. And whenever scholar says that when you see Ya Ayyu Allah Zina Amanu, you should be all alert because rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving some command or he is for, forbidding us from something. And that is really important. Like something really important, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking when he says, Ya ayu Zina Amanu. So whenever we see that in Quran and Pak, we need to stop and we need to pay extra attention because this is some special command is coming. So what is the special command? He is saying, Isbiru, that you all do sabr. Okay, was sabiru, and you do sabr with each other. We know that uh, this Alif is telling this is mutual, right? and you stay tied up, you bind yourself with good deed. Vattakullaha and you adopt taqwa of Allah. La Allahum so that you all you all are tuflihun successful. So this is uh, at the end of this uh, surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kind of giving a certification for to those who are all doing all that stuff that they are the successful people. If you remember, even um, the first category when in Surat Bakra, uh, it, it, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says all these uh, um, uh, description and He says Ulai kahumul muflihun. And now at the end of Surah Al Imran, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is again saying that they are uh, the successful one. So we, when we Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving this uh, certification, we need to see what qualification are there and we can try to adopt these uh, qualifications so we can be part of it, right? So now, so <clears throat> Amanu over here, Allah Zina, I said that this is our Sila and uh, sorry, Allah Zina is our Isha Mosul and we need Sila after that. So Amanu is our Silatul Mosul here. So Ya Yuh Allah Zina Amanu is uh, basically our uh, 
uh, is a Mosul and Silatul Mosul over here. And now Isbiru. So Isbiru mean this is command. And uh, this vow is telling me that this is Antum. So you all seek patience. So patience is a big quality. Big, big quality. So if someone is uh, patience, he is successful. Because we need patience in almost everything. And that is very uh, like uh, uh, quality which is liked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a lot. So we need to kind of adopt this uh, quality. So uh, ispiru and sabar in what? We can understand it uh, um, like in many ways. So ispiru is like uh, do sabar when we have to do some good deeds. We need sabar, right? Because uh, for even good deeds, if we do not have sabar, we can do them. For example, if uh, we are outside somewhere and uh, now it's time for salah, we have to do our wudu. Is that easy or hard? Very hard. So, but still, if we remind ourselves, we do sabar on this difficulty, we do wudu, pray our salah, so this is sabar. So uh, doing sabr on good deeds. Then in the same way, showing sabr on evil deeds. Like uh, if there is like some temptation, someone is kind of pressurizing you to do something. Like our friends or our family, they are asking us to do something. And to, but you have to control yourself, right? So you need to show patience over there. So patience on doing good deed, patience on stopping yourself from evil deed. That imply over here. And then sabiru. Now this is mutual, right? So we cannot just do good deed for ourselves. Like uh, it's very easy to do righteous thing if you just mind your own business and it is just related to you, right? We can easily do sabar. But real test starts when you have to take other people along with you, right? I find it very hard when you have to kind of take your uh, kids with you and when you have to kind of uh, encourage them and you really want them that uh, they stay with you uh, in good date, then it is like very, it requires amount of sabr that we cannot even imagine, right? Um, Surat Asar says, "Watawasau bil haki, watawasau bil sabr." So we need to enjoin other people to to do good deeds and to stay away from evil deeds. So that is in sabiru, and then we have rabitu. Very interesting word over here. Uh, Rabitu is from Raba and Ta, Rabt. We know that word in Urdu, we use a lot. Rabt is like um, something is tied. So, and in Arabic, this word is also used for Ribatul Khail. What is Ribatul Khail mean? Um, khail is a horse. So the warrior horses, the horse that are uh, like prepared for the wars. How, how are you going to see them, like how they are? They are always ready for attack, right? They are going through a special training to fight, right? And they are ready to attack no matter what. So that implies that guarding the border also is rabitu. So this is one implication. Guarding your, the border of your land is rabitu. And uh, then it also says that uh, Rabitu is like uh, you tie yourself to the good deeds. So you are uh, uh, always like striving to be right and doing good deeds. And uh, one of uh, hadiths of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, the Taymiya Zubair was mentioning that uh, it also implied that after one salah, you wait for the next one. That is also ribat. Or doing wudu at the difficult times, this is also ribat. Or uh, like taking step to the masjid. You know, different people have different distance. 
so like how you are kind of uh, uh, exhausting yourself to get to the masjid that is also uh, ribat and uh, uh, it says that whoever died in ribat like he was in habit of all these like uh, always uh, his heart was connected to the masjid and he was like tied himself with all good deeds and uh, he is like waiting one salah and uh, looking forward for the next one right and they are doing wudu at difficult times so then what happened when they die their good deeds are not going to stop they will keep like uh, um, uh, their uh, his good deeds will keep multiplying until day of judgment so even though they are in uh, grave and they are not doing these good deeds they are not doing ribat now but uh, because they did ribat and th- this is liked by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that much that they are going to have that uh, reward until the day of judgment even in their graves when they are not doing them subhanallah that is amazing so uh, if we just uh, spent uh, this life whatever little life we have uh, mindfully so we can see that uh, how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is going to overlap us in terms of uh, uh, reward subhanallah so that is the uh, rabitu and then it says battaqullah so adopt the taqwa of allah la allakum so that tuflihun you all are successful so battaqullah the one more thing about uh, this uh, taqwa taqwa is uh, you know that uh, Uh, it says and this is from waqa and wiqaya and this is said that uh, it's like a um, horse that uh, when he kind of missed his uh, nail you know they have uh, something in their uh, uh, foot right and that uh, metal thing so imagine one horse does not have it he missed it so how he going to walk now very careful right because uh, you know that it gonna hurt him uh, so he gonna watch very carefully where he's stepping so that is wikaya that is taqwa and someone asked uh, uh, in the time of uh, um, i think uh, hazrat umar or uh, um, like is something in uh, our khulfai uh, 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 all these uh, hazrat uh, um, umar or hazrat abu bakr i don't remember in their uh, time it was asked that okay what is taqwa and the answer was that uh, uh, when you are passing through a bushy thorny uh, kind of place so how do you walk so the person answered that okay i'm going to like squeeze and i'm going to make sure that all my clothing is uh, like uh, i'm going to squeeze myself and try not to tangle with all these thorn and uh, bushes so he said this, basically this is taqwa so this life this dunya is kind of full of all these bushes and all these uh, thorny things and we need to kind of avoid them we need to save ourselves from them and taqwa is like uh, taking a protection so adopt the taqwa of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is uh, uh, like uh, a big quality so may allah give us his taqwa la lakum tuflihun and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is giving a certificate of success over here so subhanallah with that uh, we conclude so subhana rabbika rabbil izati amma yasifuna wa salamun alal mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin